scale and scale factor. Okay, this is kind of similar to what we're doing, but this time we're talking about scale. And a scale is something like, if I was to take a model airplane of the, the GF 460, <laughs> okay, and then I were to actually get the airplane out of the um, GF 60, okay, and I were to place them side by side, what I'm going to say is the scale is 1 to 24, okay? What that means is, is if my, um, if my little bitty airplane right here, whatever, <laughs> sorry, if my airplane here, <laughs> every one inch is 24 inches here, every one foot is 24 foot here. Does everybody see what I'm saying, the scale factor? So the little bitty model, every time I have one inch on the little bitty model, there's 24 inches of that. Okay, does everybody understand what I'm saying? So if I say the wing on my model airplane is one inch, how many inches is the wing on the real airplane? 24. 24, got it? Does everybody see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One to 24. Yes. It always, whether you're doing inches to inches, feet to feet, miles to miles, I mean, whatever, okay? So what this would look like is one out of 24. Does everybody see what I'm saying? That's what it looks like, a scale, one out of 24. Another way to write this, remember, this is kind of like a ratio, would be one over 24, like that, okay? Now... Now that we've discovered that, I want you to listen to this. A model airplane is built with a scale 1 to 24. 1 to 24. If the wingspan of the model airplane, okay, so this is, um, what I want you to write down is you're going to do a chart, okay? And what two things are we looking at? We're looking at a model airplane, and we're looking at the airplane. Does everybody see how I did that? Remember how we do cats and dogs, girls and boys. Now we're doing model and airplane, okay? And then, what are we trying to figure out? Well, instead of doing percent and actual count, it's scale and then the actual measure. So I'm just gonna put measure. Okay, does everybody see what I've done? What is my scale for, for the model and the airplane? One over 24. One over 24, very good, okay? And then it tells me this. If the wingspan of the model is 18 inches, the wingspan of the actual airplane is how many feet? Problem, again, inches, and they're wanting feet here. So I'm gonna recommend, let's figure out what it is in inches, and then convert it to feet. Does everybody understand? Okay. So I'm going to leave that there and put a little star beside it, showing me that I need to change that. Okay, that's going to help me. Okay, if I just circle it or not even do anything with it, I'll just put it in there and it'll be done. Yes? What do we do? 24 times 18 divided by 12? So what you're going to do is go 1 over 24, just like we always do. 18 over X. Okay? 1 over 24, 18 over X. And then we'll just work it. 1 times x equals 24 times 18 is 432. Okay, so x equals 432. But that 432 is in inches. Okay, everybody gets that? Because we didn't change or convert anything yet. Okay, so now I'm going to convert my 432 inches into feet. Does anybody know how to do that? Divide by 12. You're going to divide by 12, okay? The mathematical way to see that is we would use our unit multiplier, um, 12 inches equals the same thing as one foot, okay? Which we put that over that. And then we cross out our inches and we end up getting 432 over 12, which is what you said. And what is that? 36. 36, and all we've got left is feet, so feet's our answer. Everybody see how we did that? Understand? Sort of? Yeah. Not really? I understand. Maybe? Okay. Let's do another one.
because I want to make sure you are getting it. I understand. Good. Okay, this next one says, Sophia is molding a model of clay from, a car from a clay. I'm sorry, a car from clay. <laughs> the scale of the model is 1 to 36. Okay, this is um, clay model to real car. Okay, then it says, if the height of the car is 4 foot 6 inches. Okay, so stay with me. I'm going to write it out to the side. The real car is 4 foot 6 inches. What should be the height of the model in inches? Okay, could I convert this to inches from the beginning? Yeah. Let's go on and do that. I think that would be easier. What would this become? Uh, no. 4 be feet would be 40, 48, 50, right? 54. Plus 54 6, inches. 54. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Everybody gets how I got that? Yeah. So I'm going to put that my real car is 54 inches. Okay? And then I want to know the measure of the clay model in inches. Right? How do you know like where to put the feet or the inches? Does it just say clay model or car? Well, I did clay model car. And then this is the measure of the clay model here. This is the measure of the car here. This is the scale of the model here and the scale of the car here. I don't know if that makes sense. That, okay. So are you saying how we know to do inches or feet? No, I was confused. I'm okay, okay, okay. So now we're going to go 1 over 36 equals x over 54. Work it the same way. 54 equals 36 times x. And when I do this, it's going to end up being, the answer is going to end up being 1 and a half. So, my clay model is one and a half inches while my car is 54. So would you do 30, 54 divided by 36? Thir yes, it would be, what it would end up being is, since it says 36 times X, we're trying to get X by itself. So since it says times 36, we're going to divide by 36. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And when we divide by 36, it takes away that one. So then it's 54 over 36. And then when we reduce that, and divide 54, divided by 36, yeah. I would end up getting one half, okay? Okay. Got it? Okay, now this next part um, is a little bit, just rather, well, just a tad bit deeper. Okay, so stay with me. We learned how to do scale, but scale was just for the dimension of one side. Do you understand what I mean like that? I'm, I'm getting the length of the airplane, but am I getting the width or the height? No. Okay, so now we're going to learn something called scale factor. Okay, this includes um, the area of something and even the volume. Okay? So, stay with me. All right? If I were to take, let's just do this really quickly. Y'all have done these before, but they wanted me to do this before we even got started. Could I easily tell what this one is without working it like normal? Three times five is 15. Yeah, I could figure out this is my function, times five. Not all of them are going to be like that. Hardly ever, actually. Okay? So you would have to normally do three times n equals seven times 15. Okay? Now, let's move on to this. Okay? Uh, I don't have enough time. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Everybody write 20, 12, 16. That's of the small triangle. This is my big triangle. 25, 20, 15. Write that down. Okay. Basically what I'm trying to do is figure out what is my scale factor from this to this. How much did it go up? Kind of like the function, okay? So what I'm going to do is, what we were doing a while ago, is I'm just going to pick, um, let's say 16, okay? And I'm going to try to figure this out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go 16 times what equals 20. Does everybody see what I'm doing? 16 times what is my function that would make this be 20? Remember me doing that? Everybody know what I'm doing right here? I'm really trying to move quickly. 
Oh, I wish I had more time to explain. Okay, so if I had 16, and I'm trying to look for the function that happened here to make this become 20, it's not an easy one. Okay, does everybody see that this is not easy? It doesn't just come out evenly or whatever? Okay, so I'm going to go 16 times x equals 20. Does everybody see that? My x is my scale factor. And if you want to put sf for scale factor, you can. So I'm just trying to figure out what is this. To get from 16 to 20, what did I do? Okay, so I'm going to take, and I'm trying to get this scale factor by itself. So since this says times 16, I'm going to divide by 16, divide by 16. So my skill factor is 20 over 16, which is reduced to 5, 4, which is then made into 1 and 1 fourth. My skill factor is 1 and 1 fourth. This one's 1 and 1 fourth bigger than this one. Does everybody see what we did? Okay. Now, moving into the area thing, if you can see my book. Fun, okay. Everybody, stay with me because this is the um, um, uh, just a lot, okay. <laughs> okay, so stay with me. I have a rectangular, no, what is it? Oh, yeah, okay. I have a rectangular prism. What do we know about rectangular prisms? It's three dimensions, okay. So I'm gonna do my best to quickly draw this three dimensional rectangle, okay. There's my small one. And this is my large one. Okay, so everybody see my big one and my little one? Okay, and I'm going to label this cube A and cube B. All right, so write as fast as you can. The smaller, the small one is dimensions are two centimeters by three centimeters by four centimeters. Okay, two by three by four. My big one is six centimeters by nine centimeters by 12 centimeters. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is we're trying to figure out the scale factor. Remember what the scale factor is? I'm asking myself, how much larger is this one than this one? So I'm gonna take two centimeters, this is my corresponding side with my corresponding side. To get from two centimeters to six centimeters, what did I do? I multiplied by three. So the scale factor for this to this is three. The scale factor is three. Now, listen to this, okay? What is my scale, area scale factor? Stay with me, what is area? Length times width. Length times width. So I'm not even worried about height yet, right? Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6 centimeters. 6 times 9 is 54 centimeters. How much did it go up from 6 centimeters to 54 centimeters? 9. So my area scale factor is 9. Everybody understand how I got that? You may have to watch this video again. I'm having to move really quick. Okay, now let's find the volume. Volume scale factor. Volume is length times width times height. Two times three, six. Six times four, 24 centimeters. This one, six times nine, 54 times 12. 648 centimeters. How much bigger is from here to here? Who knows? It's going to be 27 times. And let me show you an easier way to figure this out. Okay, this is really cool. So everybody finish writing that down. I'm going to show you something really neat. Okay. Everybody done? I did the 648 times. I did this times this times this. Oh, oh okay. Okay? okay, but I'm going to show you an easy way so that you don't have to multiply this times this times this every time. So watch this. My scale factor was what? Three. What do we know about area? What do I always tell you to put? Squared. So guess what? All you have to do is square your scale factor. So the area, three squared is nine. Everybody get it? Okay. And volume, what do I always tell you about volume? You do cubed, right? 
So guess what we're going to do the scale factor? Cube it. 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. We did it. We're doing cubed. Oh, yeah. That's okay? So I take my scale factor and I do it three times, three times three times three, to get my volume scale factor. Now, if you don't remember that and you're on your test, just do it like normal. Find out the volume of this one, find out the volume of this one, and then figure out the scale factor. And then you just have to divide them? And then you just have to divide them. And then you get the answer. And then you would get the answer. Okay? Or you can follow this easy method if your brain will think that way. Go on and use this as your method. Okay? So if it asks you for the scale factor, find it, then just double or um, square it, and then tr um, cube it. Everybody understand what I mean? I know that was a lot. And I apologize, I actually have gone over seven minutes. Okay? But nobody's even over here yet. <laughs>